Welcome back in Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist Barrett Benson. A few clouds up there on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. I can't believe it. We're going to be seeing a continuation of moisture pushing on in, leading for showers this weekend. But up until this weekend, hot and dry conditions continue with triple digits on the way for today. There's those clear skies, a little bit of those kind of stratus clouds up there. These are those upper level clouds. We're seeing 92 degrees going into the afternoon. Quite a warm start to the afternoon as well. On the way to maybe break records this afternoon, getting up to 102 for the forecasted high. And uh, well, that's going to be the case for the next few days. Temperatures getting close to breaking records. We're seeing a little bit of haze as well. With the wildfire activity off to the northwest, we saw this northerly flow bring in that smoke. Now it's the opposite. Southerly flows taking over. That's going to increase temperatures, push in moisture, and push out that haze that we're already seeing here in the, the valleys. Now, as far as air quality is concerned, we've been seeing this fire activity off of the northwest and with a northerly flow set up, we get hazy conditions from this fire activity. This is what we saw earlier this week and last week. Now with a southerly flow, it's pushing the smoke up back to the north. We're already seeing some of those air quality watches kind of expire off to the northeastern plains. Still active on the front range though and uh, air quality still in the moderate category to some neighboring regions here on the western slope getting into the unhealthy category just right over in Eagle County. So if you are sensitive to this, maybe stay indoors if you're in those neighboring regions close to I-70. High pressures moving in the heat up from the south. This is going to leave temperatures above average with triple digits in Grand Junction Delta, Paonia, upper 90s in the higher elevations in Glenwood Springs in Carbondale and a continuation of the heat with dry conditions. Already seeing single digit humidity values. This does raise concern for fire weather, uh, so just keep this in mind. Low temperature still 50s and 60s. Nice conditions in the overnight hours, so maybe do your outdoor planning to the early morning because it's going to feel a whole lot better. That's for sure tonight or sorry tomorrow. Triple digits continue even warmer. 103 in Grand Junction, triple digits in Delta. Battlement Mesa, Rifle, Paonia seeing that as well with upper 90s even in higher elevations. Definitely expect the warming trend. Wind speeds though calming down today. 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 15 miles an hour. This is going to uh, be a little bit calmer than the past few days, allowing a slight break from fire weather, but with how warm it is, and how dry it is, you definitely don't want to forget those fire safety tips. Don't toss those cigarette butts and uh, be aware of those open flames. Maybe tighten up the trailer chains as well if you're going to be out on the roads. Temperatures getting into the triple digits consistently throughout the next few days, close to breaking records with chances for showers to start the week off next week here in the Grand Valley. Montrose is just a little bit cooler in the mid 90s before lower 90s with chances for showers on Sunday. Some changes on the way. Just got to get through the heat first, so stay hydrated.